Although we come to the end of the road No, I can't let go It's unfortunate You belong to me Well, she don't belong to me Man, look, man, it's your boy JB, a.k.a. Spoken Man, I had to get a little sip But this one right here, man, I ain't gonna lie Had to get a little sip, man Nicki Minaj Nicki Minaj Oh, Nika Say it ain't so But <laughs> She retiring, y'all. She waving her flag, bro. She hung her hat up, y'all. I think we all need to just take a uh, a good moment to reflect and just stand up. I don't care what you're doing right now. If you're in your car, if you're at work, if you're at school, I don't care what you're doing. Stop what you're doing right now. If you're in the middle of class, stop what you're doing right now and just give a good round of applause for Nikki Onika Minaj. Because she fucked this game up in a good way. She murdered it, y'all. Murdered it. During a time where women rappers and female rappers wasn't so hot at the time and it was trying to make a, you know, it, it, it would, the, the waters were very, very uh, shallow. She showed that there's life. In this genre of rap when it comes to women and she did it she accomplished what was at the time damn near the impossible because niggas were just too damn bullheaded we was running the game and now you see is you know when she first came in the game it wasn't hardly no women around doing anything no young woman doing anything like that especially on a grand scale <clears throat> and Female rappers and entertainers, they've been around for a minute. I'm, I'm, I'm mainly talking about female rappers, though. They've been around for a minute. They've been in the studio. They've been writing their bars. They've been doing all that stuff. And, um, you know, she came in during a time where it wasn't so hot. And it's crazy because when she finally, when she finally decided to hang it up, look at how the game looks now. It's, it's women all over the place right now rapping, getting all kind of views, everything, man. They all her kids, all of them her kids. All this hot girl summer stuff, they her kids. Now they're just not specifically her kids. Let's give it up to Trina. Let's give it up to Kaya. Uh, maybe I'm missing a few. Uh, Look him, you know, um, and all that other good stuff. But as far as it goes, everything goes. Nicki Minaj. She took it to a level that a lot of them couldn't take it. And I gotta give her her props. She's been working extremely hard. You know how hard it is to be a woman to put makeup on, eyelashes, get your face right, get the wardrobe, get the hair, especially her hair. She would change her hair like socks, bruh. Like, you know, come with all that stuff. Dealing with the Wayne, the Birdmans, all these different deals, trying to stay sane. And I knew her time was coming to an end when she started just outlandishly just stating her opinions on how she felt about Cardi B, you know, and just the game in general. It got to a point where she really started sounding bitter. And, I, you know, I know she probably listened to this, but I, I don't mean this out of disrespect. I just mean this out of, I understand, you know, in my lane, uh... I kind of felt that way, you know? I kind of felt that way on and off. Didn't feel appreciated. Felt like I was killing the game and all this other stuff and ain't nobody really looking your way or even giving you the giving you the homage that you deserve. And the most important part that people need to realize is that you're not gonna get all your flowers while you're living. Sad to say, you're not gonna get all your flowers while you're active in the game. Sad to say, you're probably gonna get the least amount of flowers while you're living the least amount of flowers while you're active in the game and then when you decide to hang it up when you retire the game and don't let the game retire you that's when people decide to show their appreciation because when they're caught up in the moment they're 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 caught up in the moment being fans they're caught up in the moment being supporters so you can't blame them and i had to learn that over the years so and did y'all know Nicki Minaj blocked me a long time ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She blocked me a long time ago on Twitter. I did this thing a long time ago 
um, on YouTube. I mean, it's on the internet somewhere, you know. Y'all forgive me, but I was stating the message. It was called Tired of the Barbies. And she blocked my ass. And I've seen Nikki a few times. You know, I've seen her in person. Um, never spoke to her. I spoke to Safari. Safari is always a, a fan of mine. But, you know, Nikki, man, Nikki has definitely done her thing. She did a thing to a level where she don't have to look back anymore. I think she's going to come back. Now, the reason why she's leaving is because, I mean, one, I assume she's done. And two, she said that she want to start a family. Congratulations to her. You killed the game. You got your money. Go ahead and do your thing. You feel me? You don't, you, you, you're well more than deserving of, um, of that. So, you, and then also too, she's fighting with the cycle of life as far as being a woman, you know, fighting with that timing. I'm an older woman. I, I ain't got no kids. I've been out here grinding. It's, it's about that time. So, um, I pray everything goes right for her. Like I say, she killed the game, bro. Like she bought a lot of, and she she really was the definition of entertainment. All right, and it, she couldn't have left a better way because her time when she was going through the stuff with Cardi B, I didn't know if she would she would ever have it in her to try to um, merge with someone who's close to her style or any other woman rapper and she happened to merge up with Megan Stallion and that's dope she couldn't have picked a better time during the hot girl summer when this girl this woman out here killing things and and they merge up and she kind of has Nikki's style but she has her own style straight southern bread style and I rock with it I rock with Megan um she passed the torch to Megan she didn't pass the torch to nobody else, if y'all want to know. Megan Thee Stallion, if I'm saying it right, I'm still becoming familiar with her. She's 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 up next, you know, and everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Cardi B, okay, yeah, she has her relevancy right now. And I'm not going to say that she's not going to grow or evolve, but the type of stuff that she get herself into... I don't think I can't see council culture dealing with her for too much longer because, um, you know, that's just it's just it's just how she goes about things, how she goes about things will make people eventually turn on her. And I see that happening now. Cardi B had way more people for her in the year of 2018 than 19. And like I told you before, if you watch a video, what I what I talked about, um, um, the things you need to know before you move to L.A. for the entertainment business. I, one of the main things I said is that you got to be mindful that these niggas don't love you like that. <laughs> they don't love you like that. You know, they'll show love when you hot. Of course, you're hot. They can make money off you. They can blog about you. They can get in your space and finesse your image and your presence and your music and all the other stuff. But the thing about it is they don't love you like that. And Nikki found that out last year for real. She was the queen of all of all queens when it came to rap in this generation. And you got to pay respect to all the ones that came before her. Uh, and I know I'm not, I'm not going to name them all. The Queen Latifah, the Salt and Peppers, the MC Lights, all that stuff. You know what I mean? All those people. Um, you know, the Lady Rages. And now, and the, and the, the, the Queen Bees, the real Queen Bees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The real Queen Bee, Lil' Kim. So, it's that time. It's time for her to walk away. And if she wants to pre and the reason why she's leaving like this and, and decided to make that statement was because, um, you know, she's building that appreciation. A lot of times supporters and consumers, we tend to get caught up in the moment. And like I said, we kick people while they're down. We kick them when they're going through the fire. And when Nikki was going through her stuff, especially when that podcast started, it opened up a lot of can of worms and we weren't used to hearing her in that state we're used to hearing her snapping or saying what's on her mind and all the other stuff but then it got to a point where it's like wait a minute wait a minute you talking a little bit too much more than what i expect and that's what jay-z's going through everybody knows jay-z's that dude everybody knows jay-z does well for the community but when he started opening up his mouth more than people expect it then it opened up rooms for error. And that's what happens when you decide to do podcasts. That's what happens when you decide to do interviews. 
That's what happens when you decide to put yourself out there and wear the superhero cape. And I feel like Nikki started that podcast because she was trying to save herself. She was trying to defend herself. And she ended up getting a check out of it. Of course. Of course. As she should. Should have. And that's okay. But I think she learned from the mistakes and the trial and errors and everything. And and I was just looking at her stuff last week with my old lady. And I'm like, look, man. Um, something in me tells me that she's extremely bothered and that she just want to leave this shit alone. I said this last week. I almost did a post about Nicki Minaj and how people need to appreciate her. I almost did that last week, but I didn't put it up. I let it slide. And I just want to see how things are going to unfold. And then, boom, here it is. She's retiring now. And that's all right. Go ahead. Like I say, you deserve it. You messed it. You, you fucked this game up and brought a whole new entertainment light to the field. And you birthed more female rappers, more women rappers than anybody that I can even think of in, in a generational sense. You know, look him gave birth to look him look him gave birth to Nikki, but and a few others, but Nikki gave birth to a whole goddamn old generation. And like I say, along with her is the Trina, the Kayas, and yeah, because they deserve their credit too. I think people sleeping on Trina and Kaya. You feel me? Because all this hot girl summer stuff that ain't Nikki. Nikki. Nikki was twerking and Nikki was showing that ass and everything, but Trina and Kaya are the real hot girls. They the real city girls, if you want to know, for real. They the real city girls. Stop playing with them. And if you want to debate me on this stuff, just kill yourself because I'm not going to go there because we not, like I told you before with the Lonzo Ball video, if you watch it, you can't compare old situation to new as far as debating wise. I ain't going to debate you with this stuff. Just pay the homage. To who is old to and keep it pushing. Trina and Kaya are the real city girl. They're the original city girl. They're the original hot girl. And they are the real hot girl summer. And and nobody took it to the levels that they took it to. Look, Kim did it too now. Don't get it twisted. But Kaya and Trina, good lord. You listen to their music and their lyrics? They did that. You know what I'm saying? So Nikki, Nikki, take this break. Take this time to reflect. And she needs to at least be gone for three years. No sooner. Please don't come back within three years. At least let that baby get three, four years old until you decide to make a comeback. And also, too, while you're gone, you need to, I don't know if I'm talking to her, but I'm talking to her and I'm talking to the people. She needs to load up. It's time to load up, baby. If you haven't thought of anything bizarre, if you, th- if you think you thought of something bizarre during your prime, you can fuck this game up so bad by just loading up and coming back. And can you imagine her loading up for three whole years and coming back just dropping bombs over Baghdad? I can see that happening. I don't think it's going to happen as far as her loading up like that. Because if she taken three years off, I mean, if, if let's just say, for example, if she take three years off, right, and come back, those three years, within those three years, she can take her sweetest time to come up with the, with the best of, of the best, top-notch creativity and just put it out there. But that's on her. That's how, that's how she want to move. Maybe she feels like, I got all my money. I'm good, you know, and that's fine. Just know that we appreciate you. We appreciate you. For all the hard work, all the blood, sweat, and tears that you brought to the game. Because it, it gets to a point where people will make you feel as if you're not good enough. Or if, you know, as if you owe them something still. Oh, your numbers ain't been like it used to be. So what? She's still the queen. She's still the legend, legend out here. She's still the OG. You can't take that from her. And stop trying to compare numbers and what they've been doing lately as far as statistics to an OG. If they OG and they're a legend, leave it alone. I don't give a fuck if, they, as long as they're a legend, as long as they're OG, especially a legend, because you can be an OG and not be a legend, all right? But especially if they're a legend, you don't bring up statistics to a legend. They are already legendary. They are already, because if they were to drop dead right now, it doesn't matter what the fuck the numbers were. The point is, they hold legend out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nikki 
is the sauce, all right? And I'm glad that she merged with Megan Thee Stallion and gave her that push and gave her that sauce and gave her that light because it looked like she was working on it, working on the retirement. And I'm pretty sure Megan probably somewhat knew. And if she didn't, she didn't, but now it's her time. So Megan is up next, all right? It ain't a Cardi B. Cardi B is already doing her thing. It's Megan. So let's see what Megan gonna do. You know, I'm very curious to see how the game's gonna go. Um, now we're living in times where we don't have to worry about if there's gonna be another woman rapper out here that's gonna uh, be popular or that's gonna take over the game. Oh, it's gonna happen regardless, whether they suck or not. It just doesn't matter. They're gonna be here. And Cardi B is a good example of that. I hate to say this. Cardi B, she ain't trash. But at the same time, she ain't raw either. You know what I'm saying? She ain't trash. Trash. But she ain't raw either. She right, right where she at. And only she can change that situation. But the one with the true potential that I see taking over the game. Oh, let's go ahead and bring this trophy back on home. Let's bring it back home to the South, baby. Megan Thee Stallion. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what Megan gonna do. Megan, the pressure is on you now. The pressure is on you. What you finna do? And I think she does very well under pressure because y'all know she's in college. She goes to college in the daytime and she do that rap shit at night in the evening. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, a whole college student out here. And changing, and I like the fact that Nikki came and did a thing. Not to say that she's the reason why Megan is in college, but Megan's coming with a whole nother type of integrity. You know what I'm saying? Like, more so like, look, I'm a female rapper, I'm a woman rapper, I'm out here doing my thing, and I'm in school. So y'all can't say we some dumb bitches out here spitting over stuff now. This ain't no Cardi B situation. No diss to Cardi B, but that's just, Cardi B knows how people feel about her. I ain't gotta repeat myself. She knows how people feel about her, but now it's Megan's turn, and she's bringing a whole nother type of feel, a whole nother type of, um, morals and principles and, and integrity to the game and I'm ready to see how this thing unfolds so this video is about Nikki Nikki you did your thing you don't owe the world nothing come back if you feel if you please and shake the game up even more but just realize you don't owe nobody nothing you don't already did it you don't already got your Grammys you don't already got your moon man you don't already got your BET Awards. You don't already show the extreme creativity when it comes to this. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know. Oh, and shout out to Missy Elliott too now. You know, I got to throw her up in there. She ain't no Nikki or none of that stuff. But I cannot talk about top female rappers or, you know, women that's changing the game. And I can't mention, Nick, uh, can't mention um, Missy Elliott. Now, got to mention the GOAT. But, Yeah. Let's go ahead and give Nikki a round of applause. Congratulations. You did your thing, baby girl.